Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here from theautomationschool.com and I recently had a student ask me a question about IAB. He's like, I can't find the old equipment in IAB. I have L6s, I have old uh, compact logics, I have PLC5s, but I can't find them anywhere inside of Integrated Architecture Builder anymore. So let's go ahead and create a new project and I'm just going to create a blank one, and put a B on here and hit OK. And um, we're just going to go right to the hardware and you can see in this latest release, we're in July 2018, you can see you have 5580 controllers, you have 5580 conformally coded, you have guard logics 5580. If we go to compact logics, you can see the 5380s. Okay. If we go over to distributed IO, you can see Flex 5000. I don't even think it's shipping yet, but it's there in the software. This is great. We got all the new stuff in there. However, you can might notice that we're missing 5560s. We're missing the old L2s and old L3s. I mean, if we look here, you can see there's only three of them in here, right? So there's a bunch missing there. Um, if we go over to, let's say, uh, the end here, you'll see that it does show slick 500s, but no PLC5s anymore. So how do you get around that? Do you have to uninstall the latest version and then go find an old version somewhere on disk or or uh, maybe on a download that you save? No, you don't. The good people over at the IAB group added this little feature here. If you go up to file, you'll see launch previous IAB version. Let's go ahead and do that. And uh, we're gonna say, no, don't close my new one, but let's open up the old one. And now you can see here, while we won't have all of the new hardware that's come out, you can see here I have my 5560s, right? You see on the compact logics, you can see I have my L31, my L32C, so I have more of those there. I even have my L23s here, and I even have my PLC5. So if I needed to do something, maybe lay out a system for a PLC5 that I was going to do some additions to or retrofit to, that's in there as well. So very nice of the people over at IEB to add that feature in there. So you can either use the newer version with the new products or you still have the old version installed on your computer to use with the older products. And with that, that's the end of this video. If you found it helpful, please give me a like and a thumbs up. And if you know anybody who'd like to learn how to program Control Logics, Panel View Plus, View SC, and more, please ask them to come over and visit me at theautomationschool.com. And with that, until next time, peace.